Week 7 is off to a flying start. October has arrived, and instead of cooler temperatures, come out ready to play ball. Games are heating up. The pressure is mounting. It's going to take everything in the tank. With all eyes on a November run in the playoffs. When you're the man, you want, you want to take what you got. First, you have to get there. We got more games to come. On the Friday Night Blitz. This is Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz. Sponsored by Subway Restaurants. We're moving. Don't waste no time. We ain't got no more time to waste. Make a pile of beat. Let's go throw it up. One, two, three. Let's go, man. Yeah. Durant Wiley and the Reigns Vikings fresh off a couple of easy district wins. Nothing easy tonight, though. Sandalwood paying a visit to the graveyard. Oh, that was a good one, too. Welcome to the Blitz. Week 7 of the regular season. A few really good matchups under the lights tonight. In fact, we had some fantastic finishes. No district games this week, but with the way the playoffs are now determined, every game matters. Let's take a look at some of the top stories from today, including a homecoming for a Hall of Famer. A big school versus small school. Two of the best in the state doing battle as Columbia treks to Madison County. And of the week is always this week. It's the Rebolt Trojans. And a battle of unbeaten. Somebody's O has to go in St. John's County. And that was a fantastic game. It's coming up. But first, our game of the week. The game of the week, sponsored by McGowan Medical Centers. All right, so here we go. Look at the chopper landing. That's not Sky Action News Jacks. That's Willie Taggart's ride. The Florida State head coach coming in to check this one out. He's got a couple of FSU commits, including the quarterback Jeff Sims from Sandalwood. Reigns gets it going early, though. Jalen Griffin, 65-yard touchdown run on the second play from scrimmage. And just like that, it was 7-0. It would be the only score of the entire first half. Wow. In the second half, Reigns has it. Puts together an eight-minute drive to start the quarter. Horton Butler Jr., 17-yard run and fumbles at the end of the play, but Reigns would fall on it for a touchdown, 14-0. Then here's Sims to Javante Kinsey, 14-7, just like that. And late in the game with three minutes to go, Sandalwood driving again. Jeremiah Huntley has a big hole, gets all the way into the end zone. We're all tied up. Dan, how about some overtime in the graveyard? Overtime. Yeah, Sims on the first play of overtime hits Kinsey, 21-14 lead after they made the extra point. So back come Reigns. Second and goal from the four. Griffin, remember he scored on that 65-yarder. Here he is from four yards out, 21-20. Extra pointer, go for the win. Go for the win! Same play. Oh, man. Too easy. 22-21, Reigns beat Sandalwood in the graveyard. What a game on a Friday night. Backyard brawl, uh, very fun though. Uh, you know, anytime you come out on top, it's, 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 it's even funner. But uh, uh, you know, guys play hard, man. A great team, man. Quarterback and receivers over there, man. They got some dudes, man. And, uh, we just got to come out on top. Um, you know, hopefully uh, we're, we're healthy and uh, we got a big one next week. Well, you go 21-20 uh, uh, and you score in that overtime session. Did you know you were going for two? I mean, why go for two? What was the thinking? Well, my, my that was my uh, kicker that was on the on the field uh, cramping. So <laughs> I looked at him. I said, hey, man, let's just go for it. So we did. We executed very well, too. Well, what's this do for you guys? Win a game like this? I, I know there's a lot to go, and you got a big one next week against uh, Rebolt in, in a district game and a cross-town rival. Well, the, the main thing about this type of game, you got to enjoy the night, and tomorrow just, you got to be out of your system, ready to roll, because uh, this is the part of the season that we've been here before. This is the part of the season that really matters. And uh, if you want to if you want to get a chance to go to the playoffs, if you want to have momentum late in the year right now, that's when you got to start playing your best. And uh, we, need to, we need to pick it up a little bit. All right, good win for Reigns. Next week, it's Columbia at Lee. It'll be a 6 o'clock start in the backyard, live at ESPN 690. Also on all the social platforms, we'll have the video for it, so hopefully another good game. Another amazing finish came in a battle of 5 and O's. Bartram Trail and Pontevedra. Low-scoring game for the first three quarters, but business picks up. Bears up three. C.J. Dodson to a wide-open Brandon Chim. Bartram up 10, five and a half to go. Sharks need two scores. Well, here's one. Mikey Stevens up the middle and crosses the goal line for six. Three-point game, 2-10 left on the clock. So they need an onside kick and get this. Their field goal kicker was injured on the previous extra point. Not only does Neil McDonough put the boot to leather, he also recovers. Are you kidding me? Can the Sharks come all the way back? Well, yes. R.J. Glad keeping the play alive. Chucks it up deep. And Aiden Lingenfelser grabs it between his legs at one point. Pontevedra leads. But they left 71 seconds on the clock. Too long. Here we go, Bartram Trail. Dotson to Chim, 
Jim to AJ Jones. Oh, oh, oh there he goes. Now the time. Oh, good back. Marjorie Jones takes the lead. 25 seconds left. Potter Vigio's final chance falls. Short. Oh, what Bears a win. 29-27. Wow. Here's Stuart Weber and Daryl Sutherland. Just the kind of ending you would expect from rivals, both 5-0 and coming into this thing. Coach Daryl Sutherland with me now. Wow, uh, you got to kind of catch your breath a little bit after yeah, that one. No doubt, no doubt. I, I, I just, you know, I, I praise God that I get to get to coach with these young men. They're such great young men. And it's such a joy to get to come out here with them. But, you know, like we thought all week was that uh, you got two, uh, two really competitive football teams, two groups of young men that are giving everything they've got. Uh, you know, it makes sense it would come down to the wire. And... Panavidra scores uh, under two minutes to go, closer to a minute to go. What was the mood on the sideline for your guys, knowing that there's time, we still got to do this, we got to score a touchdown to win? Right. Well, you know, really a, a credit to our guys and just their poise. We practice two-minute drill every single day. We finish practice with it, uh, and uh, it's such a competitive period, and the, the guys have such a great time doing it. Uh, so it's something they've come out and practice. Uh, but really, what I was impressed by was just their poise of going out and executing it. Last one, when you said we're going to run the little hook and ladder there, what'd they say? Oh, that we run it a ton, and so those guys have a lot of faith in each other. And, uh, you know, they just, like I say, that you know, the, the fact that they have faith in each other and they know they can go out and execute it, that's what makes it work. All right, Barcher Trail gets the big win over their rivals from Ponte Vedra. Let's send it back to you. Thank you. How about this one, Dan? Big test for Carson Beck and the Mandarin Mustangs. Nationally ranked St. Thomas Aquinas. Oh, boy. Probably have 24 guys committed, committed to D1 schools. Oh, Good field boy. position for the Raiders turns into Anthony Hankerson. Touchdown run, 7 0 lead. After a Mandarin 3 and out, the visitors threaten again. Bad snap, Jerome Jolly. Wanted to pick it up. And away he goes. Oh, yeah. Like the highlight, 75 yards. We're all tied up at seven. My gosh, by golly, it's Jerome Jolly. Ah, very nice. Second quarter now, Bartranius Mack, fresh off a big game against Nice, keeps it rolling. Huge pickup for the running back. It would lead to a field goal for the Mustangs, but it's all Raiders from there. 56 <laughs> to 28 was the final. Here, Clay University Christian, Desario Roth. Desario, that's my guy. He used to play baseball against him. Touchdown pass to Oral Gray. Christians take the lead at the half. Eight to nothing. UC's Max McClendon. That's Willie's kid. Yeah. He's going to score a rushing touchdown, make the game 14 to there nothing. Is. There he goes, Max. Mad Max. Oh, yeah, Mad Max got some moves now. Uh, Blue Devils Hunter Beasley's pass is tipped at the line and intercepted for a pick six by Jerome Manning. 20 to 2 in the fourth. You get the idea of what's going to happen here. Christians win 27 to 8. There's nothing I can tell y'all tonight to make y'all play any better than what you prepared all week. Folks in zone Hall of Famer trying to get the one and four Indians off their four game slide. That's Chip Bailey tonight as the Folks in County face Irwin County. Indians start off on the ground. Freshman running back Jalen Lilly gets a hand up, makes a move. He's into Irwin territory. Later in the drive, though, we've got a fumble. The miscue by Charlton County leads to the first turnover at Champ Bailey Field, newly named. Cameron Ward <laughs> scoops up the fam fumble and takes it the other way. First points in the newly named field puts the visitors up 7-zip. Following the hosting Indians punt, Gabriel Benyard takes the give around the left side, down the sideline. One offensive play for the traveling Indians makes it a 14-0 game. Oof, it was 28-0 at the end of one, 56 to nothing overall. It was an awesome day for Champ Bailey and Charlton County, but that was a tough one. Yeah. And speaking of Champ Bailey, pretty cool. Yeah. As we saw with Brian Dawkins and Reigns a couple years ago, and now Champ Bailey gets his day. Well, the fabulous Bailey brothers, they're very cool, and we've known them since they were. We watched this guy. The video that used to come out of Charlton <laughs> County was incredible. I'll tell you that. Well, Marcel Robinson <laughs> spent some time in his hometown talking to this guy in his hometown earlier today. The champ is here. That's NFL Hall of Fame cornerback Champ Bailey, that is. From dirt roads to wearing gold, the pride of folks in Georgia has returned to his old stomping grounds, Charlton County High School, to present a very similar honor with those who know and love him the most. Your school will be an official high school of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, it kind of brings it home, so to speak, you know, and, you know, it just reminds me constantly of why I got to where I got. And just being able to share a moment like this with my high school and my hometown I mean, means everything. Now, it's been nearly 25 years since Chan Bailey roamed these halls as a member of the Charlton County Indians, so admittedly, he didn't know what to expect when he walked through these doors. But one thing's for sure, folks, it never forgets. You just don't know. You've been gone so long. And, you know, 
you hear people back home cheer for you and you hear about it, so to speak, and but you don't see it. Right. You know, you don't really feel it at, at sometimes, you know, at, at least not like this. This is overwhelming to say the least. Now in his speech, Champ Bailey made sure to pay homage to all those that came before and after him in the NFL from Charleston County High School. He says, this is not just his Hall of Fame. Folkston is in the Hall of Fame. At Charleston County High School, Marshall Robinson, Action Sports Jacks. He's so proud, Marcel. He should be. All before so and after proud. include Marcel Robinson. Yeah. That's his hometown. Yeah. Really cool stuff. That's good. Oh, more with Champ coming up during our Florida Georgia coverage uh, later on in the month mm -hmm. as well. All right. When we return, more from our game of the week. What a finish at the graveyard, Dan. We'll take you back there one more time and hear from the hero. And let's say hey to the Middleburg football team and other students from 1999. Oh, that was Who's a great that guy? Year. On hand for their 20-year reunion. That includes our guy, Oh, there he is, the pulling guard of the Broncos. <laughs> Why is his name not on the wall? Coach Cam. <laughs> we are the Reigns Vikings, and this is Friday Night Blitz. Woo. You're watching Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Subway Restaurants. It's Griffin's in the backfield once again. Here we go for the win. Same play. The Vikings give it to Griffin over the left it's side. In. He'll it's walk over. into the end yes, zone. Sir. And the Reigns Vikings win the football game over the Sandalwood Saints in overtime on a two-point conversion, 22 to 21. Hey, there it is, a walk-off win for the Reigns Vikings, 22-21 over Sandalwood in our Action Sports Jacks game of the week on ESPN 690. Here on the Friday Night Blitz as well. Let's hear from the hero. I was ready for that play. Like, I want to be a playmaker, as my coach said. He wanted a playmaker, so I was happy to be able to make that play. You guys just say, see something on that because you called the same play on the two-point conversion. We saw how they uh, pound the, uh, like, the inside pound, so I knew the outside was going to be open, so I just hit it. And what did you think about Coach going for two? Did you know he would, or, or did you like it? Were you nervous? What was it? I didn't know he was going for it, but I liked it because it's a win to go home uh, this season, so like, I would be happy to make that play. Nice man, big win for you guys. Yes, Thank you. Uh, look at the celebration there. That is a big win. And uh, well, we've got some more games to go. Maybe they'll all be like that from here on out. Next week, we're going to the backyard. Columbia and Lee, 6 o'clock start next Friday on our Action Sports Shacks Game of the Week. Well, the Manor fans were pumped up tonight. St. Thomas Aquinas is coming to town, but in the end, uh, Mandarin falling short. How long does homecoming last, by the way? Like every it's single week long, for about six month weeks? month-long celebration, I do believe, yes. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah. Everybody having fun on well, homecoming. Check We're out having fun games. on the Friday Night Blitz. Yeah, Why don't we talk some more football? Let's, Let's go, Dan. It. All right, NFEI and Wolfson. Wolfson's Dijon Gillens with the punt return. Gillens! Gillens! My gosh, Gillens! Trust me, he's got down the sideline, 6-0 in the second quarter. NFEI, Javon Prindle back to pass. As we celebrate the touchdown, and he is going to be picked, picked. Ray, shake and bake Murphy. Down the sidelines, Murph. Touchdown, 12-6, still in the second quarter. Prindle comes back. That's what good quarterbacks do. Going to find Ramori Simpson. Kind of a lateral, isn't it? Kind of flipped it out there. Yeah. Ramori does the, oh, oh step oh, 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 the big fella. We're tied, Wolfson wins, shootout, 53-34. All right, Brentford Bucks make the voyage to Hilliard to face the Flashes. Flashes up 26 zip in the third, oh, all flashes. Lyle Bennett's pass tipped at the line of scrimmage, and Cody White makes a great play of the ball to secure the interception. Bucks ball inside the red zone now. White gets rewarded. Having his number called on the offensive side, runs along the right edge, puts Brantford up, still down 20. Puts Brentford on the board. They were still down 20. Bucks in the move again, going deep, but it will be picked off by Cody Bright to stall the drive. Hey, Brentford fought till the end, but they fall short. Hilliard gets it done. 26 to 14, although someone called in and said 26 16. So oh, they won. Discrepancy. We know that. Full disclosure here the Dash lost tonight in the woods. Where's the venue? Had oh, to head really? down to the island, St. Augustine. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> but where, where's the football field? We need to put Life 360 on you. Let's see. <laughs> hmm, St. Joseph's Academy, football field. There's woods, more woods. Am I ever going to get out of there? I'm spinning. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I got it. Let's dash.
Dan's Dash, brought to you by the Southern Chevy Dealers. Find new roads. All right, Providence and St. Joe's. Here we go. Slow start for the Stallions. Austin Walker back to pass. Picked! Number 11, Patrick Lane. That would set up an early field goal. But you know what quarterbacks do, Brett? They keep firing. Look at the time. The offensive line giving him time. Zips it over the middle. Walker does it. Cade Windham. And there he goes. Wind up Windham. He takes it into the red zone. Levi Holman does the rest. Watch the big fella run for Providence for the uh, Stallions right here. Takes the handoff. Goes around end. Goes around end. Heading for that pylon. Get in there, Levi. Get in there, big fella. Get it. Oh, he's down at the one. He got in on the next play. Providence wins 21 13. You just call me Brett. More St. Charles County action. Nice hosting Fletcher. Not Brett. Brett's at midfield. All these years, uh, I thought it was yeah. Brett. Devon Legal throws it to the wrong jersey. <laughs> Might be Devin. Devon. Joshua Ely able to capitalize with the interception. After running the ball most of the first half, the Panthers there went out. Just the evidence to Grant Stevens. But a field goal attempt would end up going awry after that. Later in the second, Nice has the football again. Ely with some bad luck. Deflected ball, double deuces, not on the roster, comes away with a pick. Hate when that happens. Put your teams on the, the roster. roster. No. And the Senators would take advantage as they punch it in just before the half. Fletcher wins the tight one, 28. To 21. Well, the old saying is to understand where you are going, you have to know where you came from. History has a funny way of repeating itself. That is the old saying. Our own Marcel Robinson caught up with a familiar face amongst the graveyard alumni. Welton Coffey, the head coach of the first reign state championship team back in 1997. All right, coach, so we're continuing our look into the reigns high school football program and I know you much like me and everyone else the old saying is football is a what have you done for me lately <laughs> type of sport but at the same time you can't really know where you're going unless you know where you've been Amen. and you are someone who's you know been with the <laughs> Reigns program obviously a little bit of a history behind you um, you won the first public school a high school state championship with the Reigns Vikings just tell me kind of what was that moment like for you and for everyone to talk about that and bring that moment back up, what does that mean for you? Uh, when I think about that, when you, when you say it like that, I, I really think about the process. Um, once the clock said zero, 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 um, I couldn't believe it. Right. Um, I was in awe a little bit. But it was something to represent Jacksonville as well as the Northwest Quadrant. To just kind of see the recognition that the Reigns program is receiving now. I've talked to you know, players that have graduated as recently as a couple uh, years ago. Um, and even, you know, the Brian Dawkins, the Leo Shepherds, um, you know, the Her Harold Carmichael of all the world, they always say they're so happy about, you know, what recognition range is receiving now because it hasn't always been that way for you someone who obviously has had ties and still ties you know to some extent what does it mean for you to be able to see you know the recognition that the range program is receiving as one of the best schools you know in the nation well see and, and that's that's the whole thing about it some of these things that we are seeing nowadays are just a dynamic of society well more of that all season long on our making of a program the range run stick with us through the season as we release a new episode in our Seven part series. You can find the full videos on all of our social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and your favorite streaming device. It's really cool. I was over at Reigns tonight, folks talking about that series that we're doing, making a program the Reigns Run. So make sure to check it out. What a matchup at Boot Hill. Boot Madco Hill. welcoming the undefeated Columbia County Tigers. Cowboys down an early touchdown and set up an easy touchdown for Robert Ayers. He punched it in. We're tied at seven. Tigers looking to answer. Boy, did they ever. Quarterback Jordan Smith lobs one for Lenadric Bradley. Bradley out breaking ankles, finds green grass. Six points for Columbia County. Columbia, Columbia, hard fought win over Madco. 32-21. Well, it might be the best team in the area. Yuli on the road to take on New Smyrna Beach. Fourth quarter in the Hornets. Kyle Lee takes it in for a touchdown. Wouldn't be enough. Yuli falls 31 to 17. Tough task today for Fort White hosting Trinity Catholic. Turnover is the name of the game. Tavian Turner loses the handle. Three first quarter turnovers for the Indians. You can't do that. They drop a tough one to the Seas. Hey, a little Thursday night blitz leading Reval tied at 14. Freddie Manning with a perfect route. The toe tap back of the end zone, Dan. That was pretty sweet. Woo! Pass from Santana Jackson. Trojans would go ahead. We slowed that one down later, and he said, wow, he did catch it. Early fourth quarter, back come the Generals, almost the exact same spot. Kale Zara to Kobe Bates, 21 yards out, two-point conversion. Puts Lee out in front. 
that would not last after a stop on defense. Lee makes a pair of big mistakes. First, Zara picked off by Cedric Woodson, and he takes it back to the end zone. Great. Very next drive. It's deja vu all over again. Chris Johnson crib. this time for Reball. The nice interception. Great. Bringing it back to the crib, Dan. Thank you. Please come back, fall short. The Trojans win it 34 to 30. That's the whole thing, is getting everybody to believe. Like, we got one of the best teams in the state, I believe, talent-wise. But talent means nothing if you can't get everybody on the same page. So that's what we're trying to do, get these boys to buy in 110%, coaches to buy in 110%, school to buy in 110%, and bring back that Trojan pride as strong as it's supposed to be. Trinity Christian's gauntlet continuing down in Miami last night against a top-ranked team in 4A, Booker T, Washington. Who are we? Booker T. Fred Davis playing quarterback to Corey Jordan. Continue to get healthy. Might be a five-star corner, but the guy knows how to find the end zone. 35-yard run for the game's first score, but that was it on offense for the Conquerors. They fall 20-7 in South FLA. All righty, more to come on the Blitz, including Dan. We got to get to our play of the day, and we had some fantastic finishes, so we can't did. wait to see what's coming up. And also remind you, there's more of the Blitz, 1120 on CBS 47. We'll blitz through the highlights on that one. Catch the show anytime on Facebook. Hey, welcome to the graveyard. We have our Viking bow going on here. We have potatoes, corn, eggs, a little bit of everything. We have shrimp. We call it in the graveyard, scrimps. Oh, yummy, yummy for your tummy. Come get it! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. We are the St. Louis Saints. And this is the Friday Night Blitz. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Hey, I scored a touchdown in high school okay. um, when I was on JV my freshman year. Mm -hmm. um, one of my linebackers got a sack, and I picked up a fumble and ran it for like 25 yards for mm -hmm. a touchdown mm -hmm. and ran off the field. And then my coach is like, Will, you can't just score and think you're not on field goal. And like I had to run all the way back out on the field. So mm -hmm. that's probably the biggest yeah. memory. Yeah, they can do field goal with 10. Heck of a basketball player, too. There you go, Will Richardson. The Jags will be in Carolina oh. on Sunday. We'll be there as well. No Jalen Ramsey on Sunday. Will not play. Gardner Minshew off the injury list, so mm. he'll be ready to go. No Josh Oliver as well. Years of coverage all day on Sunday. We'll also be in the swamp tomorrow, by the way. Back still acting up. Yeah, mine is. Jalen. Oh. The play of the week is brought to you by Farah and Farah. Play of the day takes us back to Bartram Trail upon a feeder. 71 seconds on the clock. Too long. Dots in the gym. Back to A.J. Jones with the cutback. Ow, oh, my. Touchdown. Shoo. That's awesome. Bears. The Bears win. What a game. All right, hey, let's leave you with our band of the week. Big one next Saturday, right? Rebalt and Reigns. Oh, I like that. With the Rebalt uh, band. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Fun night of the Blitz. Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Subway Restaurants.